All right, we're moving on to strip clubs, postcards, and First Amendment rights. What do I mean? Well, in every City Pages magazine, you'll find advertisements for hot restaurants, music venues, and head shops. But in the back pages, you'll find, well, back page ads featuring strip joints and CD massage ads. And it is with those ads where we start this story. Ann Redding has a fundamental problem with porn. Well, the prevalence of pornography was really disturbing to me. Uh, it was hard to avoid and we were getting it in our face 24-7. And City Pages, I felt, was one of the biggest facilitators of the promotion of pornography in the Twin Cities. So Redding, who is the president of the Christian Action League of Minnesota, decided to do something about it by sending letters to those who advertise in City Pages. And asked them to not support a publication that doesn't have any problem with promoting these businesses. Family law attorney Lee Frost is one of those advertisers. As a concerned citizen, I ask you, please stop advertising in city pages. Did you know your fellow advertisers are strip clubs, porn store and sex phone ads? And then she writes specifically, porn tears families apart. City pages promote strip clubs and porns. As a woman, are you OK with that? And I that I found particularly offensive as well. It's an awful presumption that I engage in that just by that I engage in supporting pornography or sexual exploitation just by advertising in city pages. Frost says she sent the letter, the email and the postcard back warning to stop contacting her because she considers this harassment. And then a week exactly a week to the day later I received another postcard. And then that's when I filed the harassment restraining order. And she from what I understand reached out to you and said please don't contact me anymore. Correct. And what'd you do? We did not contact her anymore. She... Um, she claims you did. One postcard that she received was uh, about a week after she had asked us not to. Ms. Redding claims that it was a, a misunderstanding, that she didn't get your reply before that last one was sent out. Okay, but it was on behalf of the Christian Action League of Minnesota. If you're concerned about sexual exploitation, then go to the buses and look for kids who are being trafficked. Go to the airports and look for kids who are being trafficked. Go to the strip clubs and hand out your flyers to women or individuals who may need your services. Do it that way. So you don't, you don't see it as harassment? No, I see it as communication. We get thank yous from businesses. We have gotten thank yous from businesses for alerting them to the content. Okay, the story keeps going. So today, both parties went to court and they reached a settlement. The agreement, Frost drops the restraining order if Redding and Cal, Minnesota don't contact her anymore. Boom, done, right? Not done. Turns out Redding and her attorney feel the way the harassment statute in Minnesota is written could be interpreted as blocking or barring someone's political speech. So they tell me that they're gonna file a federal lawsuit in the hopes of changing that Minnesota statute. It's a doozy.